Hello again, I, I would like to take the chance to explain you a menu that for me was a bit messy, especially in the, in the beginning, which is the image, uh, sorry, the scanning area of the sensor in an FX9. Uh, maybe you remember that in many of our cameras, like the A7S, uh, the Venice FS5, FS7, now in FX9, uh, you have the chance to not only to use the resolution and the uh, size uh, which are native for the sensor, but you can also crop the sensor, trim it, so that, for instance, in an A7S, mm -hmm. you can uh, jump from a full frame 4K uh, resolution and size, sorry, size and resolution, to a Super 35 or APS-C full HD uh, area and, and resolution. In an FS5 or FS7, for instance, you have a Super 35 4K sensor that you can scan also in um, something like Super 16 in Full HD resolution. That is, uh, that can be in Venice, it can be even more flexible and you have much more modes to, to scan, so you can trim the sensor even in more ultra panoramic, blah, blah, blah. But I, I would like to explain about Venice in this video, because in this video I would like to focus on that menu in, in the FX9. Here you can see the little uh, slide that I created for the scanning modes in FX9. You can see that there are basically, or there will be basically five uh, scanning modes. The two that we have by default in version one, and I am in the last day of April 2020, so uh, version two uh, will arrive this next summer. The, the two main uh, uh, formats that we have as of today are Full HD and a Ultra HD uh, formats. But in the future, we will have also the DCI modes, which, uh, for instance, in 4K can reach not only 3840, but also 4096 horizontal pixels uh, resolution. And there will be another fifth uh, uh, sensor scanning area, which is the 5K, which is a uh, between the the super 35 and the 4k oh, sorry and the full frame uh, sizes so it's more or less in the middle but it will allow us to shoot in something bigger than super 35 in 4k and up to 50p or 60p okay now let's focus on the on this uh, controversial menu that uh, now I, I'm going to route my signal to an atomos and it is rerouted to this monitor, so sorry if I lose the eye contact. This is the typical configuration that you will find in an FX9. I think that it is the most uh, natural one because it provides you the maximum uh, scanning area, which is full frame, uh, the better uh, codec, which is XABC Intra, and the highest resolution, which is 4K 4 TV, so Ultra HD. But you can see that we have uh, as of today, four options for uh, th there is a correlation between the scanning area and the output resolution. And output, I'm, I'm thinking not only of the physical BNC or HDMI outputs, but also the codec ones, which is very uh, related to, to these options. So, for instance, you can see that we have the full frame 6K. Remember, this is a 6K sensor, but the camera is a 4K system. Okay, this is very important to, to have on, on your mind. So, if we choose full frame 6K uh, resolution, this is the scanning area that we can down convert up to 4K TV, okay, uh, Ultra HD, or full HD resolutions. Okay, in this case, to illustrate the differences with the rest of the, of the sensor areas, you can see that for instance, in the slow and quick motion menu, we can reach a maximum of 30 frames per second. Okay, so the main difference is about that. Uh, if I choose instead of full frame 6K resolution uh, scanning area, full frame 2K scanning area, now you will see that I cannot choose anything but full HD resolution. Remember, before I could choose also Ultra HD. But now, in the slow and quick motion menu, I can choose up to 120 frames per second. 
Remember, this is the maximum frame rate that this camera can provide in Full HD as of today. In the future, it will reach up to 180 frames per second, as uh, we had in the FS7 Mark I and Mark II. Okay? So, remember, we are scanning the same uh, viewing angle, for instance, or the same area in the sensor, but in 2K we can reach up to 120 frames per second, while on a full frame 6K mode we can reach a maximum of 30 frames per second. But there are two more options, which, uh, which are Super, Super 35 4K or Super 35 um, 2K. Let me detach the cap on the lens and you will see what happens in that case. First, firstly, uh, okay, let's see what happens to the viewing angle here. For instance, here in this part of the image, you can see that I can see a part of the screen from my Atomos. But if I crop it to Super 35 4K, you will see what happens. Now, in this part of the image, I cannot see the, the screen. So what we are doing is basically zooming in or taking just the the, the middle of the, or the center part of the image, of the sensor. Let me put the cap again. So, in this case, if I jump down to Super 35 4K, as before, I can choose either Full HD or 4K uh, resolution. If I choose, in this case, remember, I mean Super 35 size. Now, if I go again to the slow and quick motion, you will see that the frame rate is bigger than if I scan it in 6K full frame mode. I can reach now up to 60 frames per second. And again, if I choose the scanning area to be Super 35, the same, but by default outputting 2K, Full HD, now I cannot choose anything but Full HD, but in the slow and quick motion mode, uh, menu, I can reach up to those famous 120 frames per second. So, according to all those tools, you can select the viewing angle. For instance, imagine that you are using a camera, um, um, an APS-C lens on this sensor. Obviously, you will see some vignetting in the corners or, or maybe a big window. So, if you want to avoid it, you can, instead of using the full uh, frame sensor, you can select just the Super 35 or, for instance, depending on if you are going to choose a, a, a high frame rate uh, shooting at a 120 or, in the future, 180 frames per second. So, these are the tools. Please uh, use them as, as you need or you want. So, thank you for watching and I, as, as in all my, my videos, I hope this is useful for you. Thanks.